I've just arrived in Malta ahead of my first ever ex-Terra triathlon, an off-road triathlon, and actually my first race since retiring from professional racing, and off the back of pretty little training actually. Uh, I've kind of enjoyed myself since retiring, and apparently I've thrown myself in at the deep end because this is one of the toughest ex-Terra courses. We're out here for a week of filming ahead of the race, so probably not the most ideal prep, um, but, I'm really excited to race my first ever Xterra. Everyone tells me how fun they are. Yeah, can't wait to get stuck in. We are good to go. Xterra Malta, here I come. We head out for a little swim recce, but given it's been a while since I've last swum, I didn't want to use all my energy before the day, so went for something a little bit different to check it out. Though I am a bit worried, we're taking on a lot of water, so I might actually have to end up swimming this soon. What are you doing? Hang taking on. All, we're taking on so much water, Heather. What, you're leaving me? Yeah, save yourself, save yourself. I'll see you back on dry land. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Jeez, we're whore as well. <laughs> filming a little bit this morning and it's actually the start of the Xterra for the swim. Um, so I had a nice little recce, it's looking pretty cool but I've got to be honest I'm a little bit nervous because I've taken a little bit of time out from swimming and this is actually going to be the first open water swim since my last triathlon as a pro. So kind of going into uh, well the unknown really, I've never taken this much time out of swimming. Um, don't think I've really got the swim fitness but it should be quite fun. It's an awesome venue. It's really glassy water. We've got a beach start, which I love. The choppier, the better for me, but we'll see. Right, I'm out on the mountain bike course here in Malta for the Xterra. And first impressions, it's pretty impressive. Um, I have to be honest, this isn't totally new to me. I have actually got a bronze from the ITU World Cross Triathlon Champs but it's been a long time since I've ridden a mountain bike. After a couple of broken bones, I decided to put the mountain bike away and focus on my middle distance racing and my pro career. Um, but I am absolutely loving being back on the mountain bike, but I have to be honest, this dry stuff here is a little bit alien to me. Um, I'm just used to riding in mud, so I think I need a little bit of help for this. Okay, so I've called in the help of professional Xterra athlete, Doug Hall. He's kindly offered to show me around the course. But first things first, Doug, uh, what is this stuff? It's pretty dry compared to stuff we're used to in the UK. Yeah, uh, after seemingly about nine months of rain over winter, it's just, it's just great to be out somewhere where there, there isn't a cloud in the sky. Yes. So how would, well, for someone coming from the mud, like, what am I meant to do riding on this dry stuff? Um, tire pressures, how do I ride it? So there's a few considerations to kind of make from uh, going f from the mud to the dust. The tyre pressure is a big one. Um, I know sort of, you know, triathletes tend to run 100 psi in their road tyres. Off-road, it's a little bit different. You want to lower your tyre pressure to kind of increase your grip. How low you go depends on your riding style, your weight uh, and your experience, but we can change it around and experiment a little bit. Cool. Um, is there anything I should be uh, wary of on this course? There's a few rocks. There's one or two out there. Um, Malta is a giant rock, so <laughs> we'll probably find one or two. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a go.
Right, I'm back in from a course recce. Um, not a full course recce, I've just done part of the course and I'm glad I have because there are some really technical sections. I uh, kind of got showed around by Doug Hall and his partner, Nicole, um, and a few others. So it's nice to sort of follow their line and kind of do the right line. Um, one takeaway bit of information I got from them was uh, I was running far too high a tire pressure. Um, so I was going around a few of the corners and sort of slipping out. So sorted that out, feel a lot more comfortable now. Um, yeah, um, so now feeling a little bit more confident about race day, knowing what's ahead of me. Yeah, fingers crossed. about 24 hours or just over 24 hours away from the race. Um, in terms of my prep for this race, it hasn't been great. I haven't trained tons and this last week obviously we've been busy filming. So I haven't been on the bike loads until today because we had a little challenge between me and Heather racing across the island, um, which is great until this happened. Uh, I got a little bit carried away. Um, I thought I was, you know, bossing it on the bike and um, yeah, came off. My biggest problem is that I like to kind of, I'm still very competitive, uh, so I'll still try and beat them even though I'm probably fitness wise can't. Um, so who knows what state I'm gonna be in at the end of the race on uh, Sunday. So this time tomorrow, we're gonna to be kicking off from this bay and conveniently the wind has picked up. So you might not be able to see particularly any big waves, but it is really choppy out there, which will make things interesting. But like I've said already, um, the choppier the better for me. Um, but hopefully that will split up the field a little bit. The bit I am concerned about is out onto the bike course because it's so exposed. We're following cliff paths and all sorts. So that's gonna be re really interesting. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna go and get checked in and course briefing. I'm all checked in, uh, but I'm age 30 to 34. It's the first time ever, because my birthday is literally just after this race. So that came as a bit of a shock. I wasn't expecting that. Um, hopefully there's less in the 30 to 34 category. We'll see. That means you're going to come first? Uh, first might be pushing it. But like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll always give it my most and my best. So you never know. She's gone half six, morning of the race. Um, super excited, but obviously quite nervous, but it's kind of like nerves in a different way from normal, because I'm, I'm normally kind of gunning it for, I don't know, the podium or to beat, beat other athletes, but this is really different. This is almost like I'm scared what I'm about to do to myself, because I'm not very good at holding back. I'm not massively prepared and fit, so, I'm actually slightly nervous, I'm about to blow up on this. Um, yeah, and also, obviously it's quite a technical course, so 
where do I try and push myself beyond my capabilities on a technical course? But yeah, pretty excited at the same time. I'm not superstitious, but I do have a little thing about um, three loose stops on race day. If I don't have them, then things might go a little bit wrong. So uh, on my way to the third now. Paying that. I think we might have to have a debrief later. It's just like a whole different kind of racing, you know, like you have to be so conditioned for it, there's so many like sharp bursts of high high intensity, it just takes a lot out of you. Added in with maybe not doing enough training, but that side like these guys are awesome. First time age group. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. 30 to 34. Bonus of um, being a bit older, maybe. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the GTM guy. Thank you very much. I've seen that top before. It's <laughs> better. <laughs> well Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.